the standard binomial expansion of 1 plus x raised to the power n is equal to c0 plus c1x plus c2x square plus and so on and the last term is cn times x raised to the power n. Now put x is equal to minus 1. So the left hand side is equal to 0 and the right hand side is equal to c0 minus c1 plus c2 minus c3 plus and so on. Now move all terms with a negative sign to the left hand side. We therefore get c1 plus c3 plus c5 plus and so on is equal to c0 plus c2 plus c4 plus and so on. And it therefore follows that the sum of the coefficients of the odd terms is equal to the sum of the coefficients of the even terms, which is the required result. Next put x is equal to 1 in the standard binomial expansion of 1 plus x whole raised to the power n in the equation above. Therefore we get 2 raised to the power n on the left hand side and the right hand side is equal to c0 plus c1 plus c2 plus and so on. Now the right hand side can be broken into two components. The first component is the sum of the coefficients of the even terms and the second component is the sum of the coefficients of the odd terms. But we have established above that the sum of the coefficients of the even terms and the sum of the coefficients of the odd terms are equal. And therefore the right hand side can be written as 2 times in brackets c0 plus c2 plus c4 plus and so on. And therefore dividing by 2 we get c0 plus c2 plus c4 plus and so on which is the sum of the coefficients of the even terms is equal to 2 raised power n upon 2 which is equal to 2 raised power n minus 1 which is the required result.